Hello and welcome to this answer video. In this answer video, I'll be talking you through the answers for the worksheet. Multiply a two digit number by a one digit number. Also talking you through some of the trickier bits to do with this skill. Question one then, there are 32 biscuits in a packet. Miss Platt buys four packets. How many biscuits does she have? So we're looking to do 32 biscuits multiplied by the four packets. We've got four lots of those 32 biscuits. And you can see in the question, it's given us a repeated addition because that's all multiplication is. So we want 32, add 32, add 32, add 32. And that would give us our answer. That's the same as 32 multiplied by four. We've got one, two, three, four, four lots of 32. So to find our answer, we can use the column method and we're going to start at our ones. So four times two first or two times four, that's eight. And then we're going to do our tens, three times four or four times three, and that's 12. Nowhere else to go, so 12 goes straight in. 128 is our answer for that one. Number two asks us to complete the calculation and draw the missing place value counters. So we have a missing number here in the calculation. We're given the number four, that's what we're multiplying by. And then we have three empty boxes in the answer. One in the ones, the tens, and it must go into the hundreds because it's given us an empty box there to fill in. So below we've been given some counters we have tens and ones, and this is where you're going to get your numbers from. So you can see we're multiplying by four because there are four rows in that place value counter grid, and only one of the rows is filled in. We have some tens, we have four of those, four tens is 40, and we have two ones. So we have the number 42 and we want four lots of those. So we carry on filling in our place value counters. So each one has 42. And four lots of 42 is the same as 42, add 42, add 42, add 42, four lots. That's the repeated addition way. So there we have our four lots of 42 using place value counters. And we know it's 42 in one lot. So we need to put that up here into our calculation. 42 multiplied by four. And then you can work it out as you normally would. Starting at your ones, two times four is eight. Four times four is 16 and that goes straight in. So our answer is 168. Number three asks us if it's true or false. The answer is 84. So again, we've got an empty calculation there for our column multiplication, but we've been given the base 10. And looking in each row, we have two tens and eight ones. So two tens and eight ones is 28. And we have three lots of those, this is three rows. So we're multiplying 28 by three. Again, we start with our ones here, eight times three, that's 24. So our four goes in, because I've got two tens, I can exchange those down here. 24, eight times three, 24, making sure the exchange goes below my 10 column. Then we can do two times three, that's six, then add those two tens as well. Six add two is eight. So 28 multiplied by three is 84. So that one is true. Number four may require a little bit of trial and error. So that's putting some numbers in and seeing what answers you get and working from there. Tom multiplies a two digit number by a one digit number. Which numbers did he use? So we've got five, 21, 25, four and 32. We know the answer is 105. So something multiplied by something is 105. So 
I know straight away that if I do a 32 times by 5, I know 30 times 5, or 5 lots of 30, is going to be 150. So that's too high. I know 20 times 5 is 100. So I need something close to 20. So we could use 25 or 21. In this case, I'm going to try 21. 21 times 5. So 1 times 5 is 5. That works. And then 2 times 5 is 10. So 105 goes in. So my answer to that missing calculation is 21 multiplied by 5 is 105. Another trickier one for question 5. Zara and Alfie want to get as close to 300 as possible. They might not hit it, but they can get close to it. That's what we're looking for. So again, I know I've got 4, 3 and 8 for Zara. And you could start by trialing some of the numbers and seeing what you get and working from there. I know 83 times 4 is going to be too high because 8 times 4 or 80 times 4 is 320. And there's a little bit more on that. So it's going to be over 300 and possibly by quite a way. So I'm going to start by looking at maybe putting 34 in and we're going to times that, multiply that by 8. So we do 4 times 8 first. That's 32. I'm going to put my 2 in, exchange as 3 tens, making sure it's in my tens column. Then I'm going to do 3 times 8, which is 24. Add those three tens from the exchange that makes 25 26 27 so that makes 272 and that's actually the closest zara can get to 300 which is only 28 away there and that's the closest she can get let's have a look at alfie again it may be trial and error just as zara was but we're going to put in 35 times 8. If I know 34 times 8 for Zara is pretty close, then 35 times 8 is also going to be quite close for Alfie because 34 and 35 are quite close to each other. So let's try 5 times 8, that's 40. 0 goes in. Exchange those 4 tens. So I've done that. Then we're going to do 3 times 8, which is 24. Add those 4 is 28 which makes my answer 280. So Alfie is only 20 away from 300. Alfie is closer than Zara. And the final question, question six. Mia's teacher asks her to find, explain and correct her mistake. So you can see she's done the calculation 47 multiplied by four. You can see that in the column multiplication and you can see the 47 shown by those tens and ones place value counters. So let's work through this. So to find a mistake, it's best to start the calculation from the beginning and work it through yourself. So let's do seven times four, that's 28. So my eight's going to go in. I'm going to exchange the two tens, making sure they're in my tens column. So, so far, Mia's calculation is correct. Then we need to do four times four, and that's 16. But then we need to add those two tens on. 16 add two is 18. So my answer should be 188. Mia got 168. And her mistake was she forgot to add those two tens that were exchanged to make 18. The 16 add the two makes the 18 which makes our answer 188. So that was an answer video on multiplying a two digit number by a one digit number from Classroom Secrets. And I hope you found it useful. Remember you can watch the linked video tutorial for this over on kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk or you can practice this skill with loads more resources over on classroomsecrets.co.uk.